I would just love to hear a little bit about what you think about curriculum in the early years and, and how we can encourage different settings to develop their own curriculum and how they go about that process to make sure that the curriculum is right for their children specifically rather than kind of for anyone else's. Sure. So um, it's absolutely, as you said, important that you think about the curriculum being appropriate for the children that you're working with as a childminder or as an early year setting uh, or, or as a school. So you have to really know the children well, but you also have to keep this under review all of the time because groups of children change one year to the to, to the next. So I guess if I give an example from Sheringham Nursery School here, you know, we have over 90% of our children join us learning English as an additional language and use, usually at quite an early stage of learning English. So clearly our focus has to be uh, very strongly on supporting children's early communication, getting them um, understanding and speaking English, uh, encouraging families to keep up the important first language, the home language, so that children are growing up as fluently bilingual. So we put a huge amount of emphasis on early communication um, for that reason. So a lot of our um, nursery day is focused around making sure that staff have plenty of time to listen to children, to have conversations with them. We have a very carefully set out system of what we call core books and core rhymes and songs so that we know children during their time with us will become highly familiar with a small group of really high quality books, songs and rhymes and we share all of those with parents uh, using video calls. So think about what is particularly important for the children you're working with and ask yourself whether you're really seeing that in the sort of experiences, um, the adult guided learning as well as the uh, child chosen play activities that, that you're offering. Um, it's of course the case that children come into our settings with all sorts of different previous experiences um, and it's vitally important that we make sure that all of the children can access what we're offering. So in other words, it's very, very difficult to manage things if you just think entirely in terms of each child being on their own unique pathway with their own unique next steps. If you don't have anything to pull that all together, if you don't have any big picture, the next thing you know is that even with a group of say 10 to 15 children and two or three next steps each, you're thinking of 30 or 40 different things that you're, you're planning for at the same time, which is really hard to do. But also if you're not careful, you miss important um, sequences of learning that children need to have. So for example, early maths learning, it's extremely important that children learn all the different dimensions of learning to count using small numbers. And this is set out really clearly in Development Matters. Um, and children won't necessarily learn all of that stuff just through their own self-chosen play. So early years is great because we're balancing very, very difficult things. We're balancing what individual children are interested in and their different prior experiences, but we've also got this big picture. We're following children's interests and what fascinates them, but we're also drawing their attention to stuff that they need to know to develop the sort of understanding or skills that, that they need at the moment to make progress, but also will prepare them well for, for, for the rest of their um, education. So there is a lot of tricky stuff to balance in the early years, which is why uh, I love it, because it's challenging and it's full of the unexpected um, all of the time. So really what's happening here is a shift towards uh, a renewed focus, I guess, about that big picture of what it is we want for the children and that we're responsible for. Um, that's, that's really important that we give our time and attention to that space. Mm -hmm.